Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. Take a look at uh, the insane Darrell Wayne's picture there and, uh, and mine, but he's much more handsome than, than I am. So take a, a good look at uh, Daryl at LateNightHealth.com under the, I think, I think it's under the about. I think. I don't remember. <laughs> um, we are going to go to all over the place. We're going to talk uh, with a former guest uh, who is now a current guest, Dr. Jake Van Landingham. Uh, he is the founder and president of Prevacus. Uh, he's uh, in Florida, and they're getting ready for a big storm. Hopefully it will be minimal. Uh, we also have Marcy Rogers, who is the CEO and founder of SpineMark. And we hear about this all the time. Football players are always in the news. And professional football players, every Sunday, I guess Monday, I saw a game on Saturday. I was with my father-in-law a few weeks ago on a Wednesday or a Thursday night. And again, more football. I'm not a big football fan, and I admit that. I I just I've never been a fan. However, we always hear about a player who suffers a serious concussion and and loses part of his life that way because it can cause all kinds of of problems. So let's very quickly: Are concussions serious, uh, doctor? Do you want to take that one? Of course. Thank you, Mark. Uh, concussions can be serious if they're back-to-back as far as life-threatening. It's something called second impact syndrome. If, and it's especially prevalent in youth whose brains are, are not mature yet. Uh, from not only the surrounding parts of the brain that run electricity uh, for your brain, but also the vasculature of the brain is not quite fully developed. In a, in a youth football player or soccer player, whether that be uh, a girl or a boy. But uh, ultimately, what you have with second impact is you have a concussion, the coach brings you out of the game, you're a little woozy, and then the coach, unfortunately, uh, may put you back in. And then you get another knock on the head, and that sort of double down, if you will, back-to-back concussions can cause a bleed in the brain, which is uh, seriously life-threatening. Uh, where you get a herniation of the brain, you can stop breathing, and your heart can stop. So, yes, concussions, uh, a couple in a game, can be life-threatening. Uh, where you tend to see most concussions, that doesn't happen, thank goodness. And with the awareness now, uh, you know, and the sort of folks realizing this is an issue and, and being able to diagnose them now on the sidelines, you've got folks, uh, the kids especially, and, and elderly especially, that get a concussion and they may not get better uh, ever or it could take years. They develop what's called post-concussion syndrome uh, and they tend to have these same concussion symptoms they had right after that lick on the head. They they keep those headaches, that dizziness for years. Uh, they develop attention deficit disorder. Uh, they develop learning disabilities. Often in our youth, they don't graduate with their uh, high school uh, you know, folks that they went to school with all their lives with. So it's it's very discouraging. Um, but I think for sort of the folks in the middle, uh, you, you tend to see with the military, concussions are associated with uh, more issues with post-traumatic stress disorder and obviously suicidal ideation, where you tend to see multiple concussions can lead to aggressiveness and ultimately uh, followed by uh, folks that take their lives. If you looked even this week, the Air Force is up fourfold uh, in this country already halfway through the year in suicides in the Air Force. And that's wow. just in training here at home. Uh, it has nothing to do with what's going on really overseas. So it's, it's, it's certainly a serious issue. Um, and it's uh, one of these things we can't clearly see unless it's that back-to-back hemorrhaging and, and obviously usually lethal second impact syndrome. The other ones are subtle, and and we've got to get a treatment on board early on to keep that pathological cascade at bay early on so they don't develop these chronic issues. We don't continue to see an elevation in suicide and and obviously a reduction in high school um, graduation. 
I know that the number of suicides on a daily basis of our service people coming back from Afghanistan and uh, the other places in the Middle East, and it it really doesn't matter where, uh, is dramatically skyrocketed over the last number of years. Enter now Spine Mark, uh, Marcy Rogers. Tell us about your background and what Spine Mark is going to do with some of the stuff that uh, Dr. Jake has put together. Well, it's 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 an exciting journey, Mark, um, and and one that we are very proud to be uh, be involved in. You know, it's great uh, to be developing all of these new innovations, but you know, sometimes the people who need it the most are the last to know about it. And so, our mission uh, is to take uh, companies like Prevacus and now their their new venture with a uh, prophylactic type cream type cream Pre V Pro. Um, and mainstream them through patient education, through funding, and, uh, because the sooner we get these products onto the market and helping people, the better it's going to be. We're in an epidemic right now with concussions in use alone up 500%. So there's the time is now. So Spine Mark has joined forces uh, with Prevacus and Jake to, to get the word out, to get the funding that's needed for these products, and to educate patients, first and foremost, that there are resources and where to find them. And it would also seem to me that uh, as this is a cream, that that a coach or a doctor on site, because most youth sports teams do have a, a doctor or a chiropractor on, you know, during the games, that this kind of a treatment, which is not traditional, should be at every high school uh, game in and college game in the country. Absolutely. And one of the plans that, that Jake uh, and I have put together is to actually infiltrate those segments of, of groups that not only are patients, but providers to patients along the way, starting with chiropractors and all the way up the, the chain to surgeons and physicians and Allied healthcare personnel. Do we really and athletic trainers too? Oh yeah, and, and right. military medic, military medics, and athletic trainers are key first point uh, folks that that we're bringing on board. Uh, that obviously will need the support of a physician behind them, but will be able to give this legally and 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 right away in the field of play or the field of battle. Is is this going to be? an over-the-counter, or is this going to be by prescription? So the the post-nasal product, which is still deliverable, is going through the FDA process uh, and the human trials uh, starting in the fall, and that will be over-the-counter, but it will be available to the athletic trainer, the medic. They will just have to call the on-call doctor and show that the concussion has occurred. In the military, I think it'll be easier than an athletic trainer having to do that. But if you will, there's, you know, an on-call orthopedic doctor for every basically 10 to 12 high schools, and the athletic trainer can call and say, we've got a proof of diagnosis here within 10 to 15 minutes of the concussion on the sideline, and that's already in their bag, and the, and the doctor admits them to do it. Uh, with regards to the biocidical this is going to be an over-the-counter product that you take before the game. It's in your brain in 20 to 30 minutes and lasts in your brain for six hours. So if you did have a concussion, if you were in a high-risk football game, soccer game, whatever it may be, and you had a concussion, you would already have a small molecule neuroanti-inflammatory on board to stop that immediate cascade. This is a we new thing, a neuro... Uh, uh, Jake, you said something interesting. You said a neuro-anti-inflammatory. This is a new thing, isn't it? I mean, it's a new development? Yeah, right. So it's a new chemical entity uh, for the post for the nasal administration. Yeah, it's a synthetic... Uh, compound that's never been produced, but it works through gene amplification to reduce inflammation 
uh, kick fluid off the brain to reduce swelling and be an internal antioxidant for that traumatized cell all at the same time because the drug is one drug working like a cocktail of drugs because it's activating multiple different promoters of your DNA <laughs> to produce these positive products. Um, yeah, so it's a new chemical entity. Uh, you um, uh, you you have a, a PhD in neuroscience. You've you've studied medicine. You you know you're you're one of these smart guys. But you got into this whole thing because you had a a, a, a TBI. You had a traumatic brain injury. Were you playing sports at the time? Was that what happened? <laughs> I wish. No, <laughs> I was actually walked out of a restaurant in Gainesville, Florida, and there was um. Somebody I'd never met, just somebody who actually was on house arrest for aggravated assault on a police officer that blindsided me uh, in the left jaw, and I hit my head on the curb and had three hemorrhages in my brain and had a severe brain injury and was lucky to, A, live and then get over a year and a half of amnesia and all the seizure medications and all the lost my sense of smell. It was quite the experience, but it was something that I, I actually drew upon because my memory was so bad for so long, and I, I wanted to be a physical therapist so bad that I I ever tell everybody all the time I'm not the smartest guy, but when you guys read it once, I read it twice, mainly because I had to or I'd forget it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Got it. Um, so, yeah, I had my own experience with it, and, and I'm grateful to be a part of trying to find some solution for it before I move on to the next world <laughs> well that's going to be quite a while from now um and uh, and, right. and marcy how about you what you you have a, a whole background in 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 health as well uh neurosurgery orthopedic surgery finding thought leaders and helping them uh, bring new ideas and products to market would that be what you do? Basically, that's that's a good way of summarizing what I do. You know, I always call myself a patient advocate, and to be a patient advocate, you also have to identify um, unrecognized solutions that are not available in the market. And that 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 my I thrive on bringing new exciting products like Prevacus and uh, Previ Pro. To the markets because you can it's you know it's get instant gratification you you see the benefits of it we had two patients at the seminar we did in portland both of which have signed up to be our ambassadors one concussed by volleyball several times and another in a, in, in a soccer tournament a number of times you know that's what we're doing this for. And I, so, and I think that's I think good. that's terrific. Uh, if you go to late night health dot com, late night health dot com, we'll have some information up there about Marcy and Jake uh, uh, Van Landingham and uh, and their products, uh, so that you can learn more about uh, concussion and what to do to prevent it and how these new I'm going to call them supplements, can can help. All right, we've got more coming up. Don't go away as Late Night Health continues. The show continues in a moment. Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Opening your heart is the only way to allow all the light in. Unconditional love does exist, but it takes trust, something not a lot of people are willing to give. But how can you expect it if you don't provide it too? All hearts are refillable, rechargeable, and renewable. So why worry about being burned? By giving, you have everything to gain. Think of how beautiful your life would be if someone loved you without barriers, gave all of their heart to you without conditions, and wrapped their soul around you like it was your last day on earth. Today, you can be that person for someone else. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. <laughs> 
Recently, I met Jacqueline from Bright here in Los Angeles. She gave me a hearing exam and then showed me how to hear again with the new Signia Pure Series hearing aids, and she can give you your life back too. I hear birds chirping, birds cooing, and even my wife. They easily connect to my smartphone. The Signia hearing aids are amazing, and with the charge and go, I don't have to fiddle with batteries and hear all day long. Not hearing is frustrating for you and your family. I know, you don't have a problem, but trust me, call Bright here now for a free hearing exam, a $125 value, yours free, just for making an appointment now. There are offices throughout the Los Angeles area. Call Bright here now at 323-424-7100. That's 323-424-7100 for a free hearing exam. There's no obligation. Call now, 323-424-7100, or visit them on the web at brighthear.com.